So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Good morning, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori, Creativity and the Meaning of Life. So over the next several days, I wanted to take um, some time and create a series called I Don't Know How to Pray, Help Me to Pray. Because I know that in times of trouble, when we get really down, We've been told to pray, but what exactly does that mean? Praying is really about coming into agreement with whatever circumstance you're in the midst of, agreeing that what God would like to do, you would like to line up with it. And that doesn't matter what the circumstance is because there's some really precarious circumstances that you find yourself in the midst of. And there's so many cl- cl- um, cliches around prayer. Yes, no, not yet. But I think there's more to it than that. I think it's really about becoming in tune with what God wants to do, not just in your life, but in the lives of others around you. I was reading an article the other day about yoga and about how so many people don't want to do yoga because the they start to really recognize how busy their minds are and they don't know how to settle it down. And there was a particular point that was made in the article that really helped me to think differently about prayer. And it's this. The writer said, even when you don't think it's working, it's working. So even if you can't get your mind settled completely, the process of going into the posture or the pose, whatever you'd like to call it, it still has a benefit, right? And so with prayer so many times, you'll hear, well, it feels like I'm just praying into the air, or I feel like it's hitting a ceiling, But the reality is, it's working. There's a a worship song right now that plays in my head a lot. And it's, even when you don't see him, he's working. Even when you don't feel him, he's working. He never stops. He never stops working. And so, as I invite you into this time of prayer which is simply sitting, agreeing that even if you don't know how to pray, you want to pray. Because you know you have no strength in the midst of whatever circumstances you find yourself. And even when nothing is showing up in your life at this moment that needs what you we would say prayer, a quick response. There's always somebody that you know that needs prayer. And so maybe you pray 
on their behalf. So the usual way I, I go into the prayer time is I will read some verses from the Bible. Then I will take those verses and I will turn them into prayers. And then from there, I will take a psalm. And today we're on Psalm 4. Second Corinthians fifteen seventeen. May I remove the places of idolatry from my life, and like Asa, let my heart be fully committed to you all my days. Psalm thirty seven three through seven. May I trust in you, Lord, and do good. May I dwell in the land and feed on your faithfulness. When I delight myself in you, you will give me the desires of my heart. I will commit my way to you and trust in you, and you will bring it to pass. You will bring forth my righteousness like the night, like the light, and my justice like the, new, like the noonday. May I rest in you and wait patiently for you. I will not fret because those who prosper in their way because of those who practice evil schemes. Hosea 11.4 You have loved me with an everlasting love. You have drawn me with your loving kindness. You led your people with cords of human kindness, with bands of love. You lifted the yoke from their net and bent down to feed them. Exodus 15, 1 and 2. I will sing to you, Lord, for you are highly exalted. You are my strength and my song, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, and I will praise you. My Father's God, and I will exalt you. Great are you, Lord. You, God, are most worthy of praise. You are to be feared above all gods. The gods of other nations are mere idols, but you, Lord, made the heavens. Honor and majesty surround you. Strength and joy fill your dwelling. Awaken the nations of the world to recognize you, Lord. Recognize that you, Lord, are glorious and strong. We give you, Lord, the glory you deserve. We bring you offerings and come into your presence. We worship you, Lord, with in all your splendor. Let all the earth tremble before you, God. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Forgive me my sins, O God, who saves. I will joyfully sing of your forgiveness. Unseal my lips, O Lord, that I may praise you with my mouth. You do not desire a sacrifice or I would offer one. You, God, do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire, Lord, is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O God. Help my heart to remain completely faithful to you, God, throughout my life. Help me to trust in you, Lord, and do good. Because you promise, God, that I will live safely in the land and prosper. Give me the faith to take delight in you, Lord, because then you, God, will give me my heart's desires. Help me to commit everything I do to you, Lord, to trust you, God, and you will help me. God, make my innocence radiate like the dawn, and then justice will shine like the noonday sun. Help me to be still in your presence, Lord, and wait patiently for you to act. Help me not to worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. 
God, you have loved me with an everlasting love. And with unfailing love, you have drawn me to you, God. Let me sing to you, Lord, for you will always triumph gloriously. Lord, be my strength and song. God, you give me victory. This is my God. Praise him. Yes, exalt him. The Lord is a warrior and Yahweh is his name. Answer me when I call to you, O God, who declares me innocent. Free me from my troubles. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long will people ruin my reputation? How long will people make groundless accusations? How long will people continue with their lies? I can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. The Lord will answer when I call to him. Help me not to sin by letting anger control me. Think about anything I have to say overnight and help me to remain silent. Help me to offer sacrifices in the right spirit and trust you, Lord. Many people will say, who will show us better times? Let your face shine on me, Lord. God, you have given me greater joy than those who have abundant harvests of grain and new wine. In peace, let me lie down and sleep. For you alone, O Lord, will keep me safe. <laughs> 